Hi guys, Mike Greer here with a video tour of Overdrive, which is an app that will allow you to get media, especially books, from your public library, and Zinio, an app that allows you to download and look at, in a very beautiful way, magazines from your public library. In fact, with Overdrive and Zinio, you can get lots of free books and magazines from your public library and enjoy them at your leisure. You don't have to be online. So let's check them out. First, I'm going to look at using Overdrive on a tablet. So here we are. We're looking at a home screen on my Android tablet. And I'm going to choose to click on the Overdrive icon. And Overdrive loads. When it first wakes up, it tells me what I'm reading, and I can continue reading there if I wish, but notice there's some information up here that's important. County of Los Angeles Public Library, that's one of the libraries which I've associated with Overdrive. Then I've also got the Greater Los Angeles City Public Library, as well as Gutenberg, where I've got books. Now, let's just look at the bookshelf for a second here. We'll click on that, and you'll see that all the titles I've downloaded the ones I haven't started reading are marked new. Ones that I am looking at are marked, you know, sort of underway. And so I'm going to click on that. And you'll see that this little book, which I got from Gutenberg, is 7.8% progress through it. I'm on page 6 of 64. But if I click up here, you can see there's a lot of settings. I have a tremendous amount of control over the appearance of the page. In fact, it's more flexible than a lot of so-called high-grade readers. You've got brightness and color scheme and font sizes, just lots and lots of things that you can control there. So I'm going to say what I'd like to do is give me two columns, and they popped up two columns there. They converted the book, and as you see, there's the two columns. So how do you add a book from a public library? Well, let's take a look at that. Now I'm going to the County of Los Angeles Public Library download page where you can download audiobooks and ebooks and you see what comes up is some new ebooks is uh, that they're featuring at the moment but as we start searching around you see that they're divided into categories nonfiction business and careers computers and technology in fact computers and technology there's a lot of books there each one of them has several pages of listings within that category but I saw something up there under business and careers that looked pretty good to me. So that's the social animal, David Brooks. I'm going to click on that. Let's say I want to download that. So I get a brief description here. I can, in fact, click here and read more. Or I can click borrow. So let's say I want to borrow this book. When I click on borrow, what comes up is the choice to download it or to read it here in, the, in my browser online. So I'm going to click download. And notice there's an Adobe EPUB book or the Kindle book are the choices for this one. So I'm going to say, yeah, I'm, I'm using an Android, so I want the Adobe EPUB. I click on Confirm and Download. And the first time I use a book from my public library with OverDrive, it's going to ask me, do I have an Adobe ID? And so I have the choice to get one or to use the one that's associated with it. So I'm going to say here, this is my Adobe ID. I would sign in over here and put in my password. And after I do that, the book downloads and pops up into my bookshelf. So there it is, ready to read. Now, opening that book, we see that has a nice looking little cover on it. And then if I click on the overview section over here, we see that the date that was added, the last time I read it, and when it expires. This is really important because with ebooks from your public library, they automatically evaporate at the end of two weeks. You can always take them out again later, but so there's no late fees involved. They just disappear. So I have this book until October 30th when it expires. Clicking on the table of contents, you can see there's these other things up here, table of contents. I can go through the various sections. I can click on bookmarks uh, that I might have added after I'm reading the book for a while and, and so forth. So it's pretty much like a standard reader, and it looks pretty good. Up it comes in two columns because it knows I was looking at two columns last. It gives me the progress. Now, if I click anywhere in the screen, this stuff will go away, and you can see the uh, you can use it as a normal reader. Now, 
Adding a book from Project Gutenberg is a pretty cool thing to do because Gutenberg books never disappear. So I go up here and I say, okay, my library that I'm associated with Gutenberg.org, I click on that. And it says, all right, do you want to complete this action using a browser? And I said, sure do. I want to go there. So I go over to Project Gutenberg. This is their home page. There are tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. I, I should have looked it up before I started the video, but there's a gazillion books at Project Gutenberg. All of those are free ebooks that you can keep as long as you want. So I, I say looking here, I, you know, you can search through the catalog. You can look for scholarly things that uh, you might need to do research with. But I just say, oh, there's a new one, the Arctic Whale Man. So I'm going to click on that. Notice that the Arctic Whale Man is available in a whole bunch of different formats. I can read as a, as a regular web page in HTML. I can get the EPUB with images if I want to have 1.5 megabytes, or if I've got a low memory reader, maybe I don't want the images, I'll just get the 290K version. Get it for your Kindle, get it for your, uh, you know, lots of other devices. So you can go through there and look at those, but I'm just going to click on EPUB with images, and it says, all right, do you want to complete this using your browser or put it in your Aldico Premium, which is a, another Android e-reader. I'm going to say, no, it's OverDrive I want. OverDrive I'm working with, so let's put it in there. And I click, and notice down here it says Loading New Title. In comes the title, and there it is. It's now in my OverDrive bookshelf. Clicking on that book, see what it looks like. Up comes a pretty little cover, and there's the first page of the book. Now, I'm really glad that I asked to have a book with pictures because those are kind of funky old-fashioned 1857 picture there that uh, are going to be scattered throughout this book so now the cool thing about project gutenberg books is they never expire you can keep these things forever so they're yours once you download them now let's take a look at using zinio that other app i was talking about to save and read magazines so back to my android tablet again this is the home screen, and this is the Zinio app. I click on the Zinio app, and when it first wakes up, it is going to try to get me to take some samples of, or browse around through, or purchase some magazines. But I'm a cheap guy, so I don't want to buy anything. I'm just going to look at the ones I've already downloaded. So this little eye here, you can look at samples. The basket is for things when you purchase them, and of course you got the search and settings and all that. But I'm going to click on the magazine there that shows ones that I've gotten from my library. Now, this account is associated with my Los Angeles County of Los Angeles Public Library, and what's happened is that I've selected these at that library. They're sort of placeholders here, and if I want to download them and actually use memory on my device, I can do that. But I haven't downloaded any of these. I've only downloaded the National Geographic. So let's take a look at that. And as you can see, you get the thumbnails going across the bottom so you can kind of scan through it. And then you get the actual, you can zoom in on pages, pinch zoom, and it's really quite beautiful. Zinio does a beautiful job of laying out magazines and displaying them. And here I am looking at a National Geographic on my device and the County of Los Angeles Public Library, anyway, does not require that I ever return this. So I can keep this as long as I want it to take space on my device. So, very nice looking display. Going back to my library of magazines, but you see that there's a number of choices here. When I click on this little magazine icon, I can sort them and manage the library and so forth. So I click on Manage the Library, I can actually go over here and delete one of these. How do we set up Zinio? Let's take a look at how you set that up at your public library. So here, we're going to the download section of the County of Los Angeles Public Library. We're going to look down further on that page, and it, you'll see the Zinio logo there, and some information about how it works. Now, I'm going to zoom in on that. Here's the key. Using the Zinio magazine service requires the creation of two accounts. So you got to get your library Zinio account, which you get through your the online library that you've signed into, for which you have a library card. And you do that by entering your library card and so forth. 
And then you got to create a free Zinio online account. So really, get that library Zinio account first. Then create a free Zinio.com account so you can read magazines. Now you can read them online if you want. And then you install the Zinio Reader app on your device. So it's a little complicated, but you got to admit, when you get it set up, it's really worth having because you're going to have access to beautiful magazines on your device and they're going to be free and you can keep them as long as you want. So, in fact, let's take a look at my library's collection, which is probably similar to your library's. We're going to browse that collection. Look at the kinds of magazines here. These aren't just scholarly journals. We've got National Geographic and Us Magazine and Rolling Stone and Newsweek and discover and and just goes on and on and oh my goodness there is actually a secret Kardashian sister and I can learn about that from this magazine which I never heard of yikes even Cosmos there huh so really lots of selections and in fact many many pages of magazines will display and you can sort them by genres and so forth but let's just say I'm really I'm really liking the looks of this gated globe uh, article in the Economist so I'm going to download the, the Economist I click on The Economist and up comes a description of it. it. tells me that it's available on iPhone, iPad, Android, Zinio, Reader 4, and all this stuff. And I'll click on Checkout right there. And I've successfully checked out the October 12, 2013 edition of The Economist. And I'm ready to start reading. Now, notice I'm in a browser here. So I'm going to start reading. I could read it right here if I wanted to, and I can review my reading list. Remember, these are the ones that appeared before, and I deleted one of those five that I had, so now I'm down to four with the new edition of The Economist. So, meanwhile, back on my tablet, The Economist shows up in my library. And notice it's not there yet on my tablet. It's not using my tablet storage space yet, so if I Simply click on the download, though. It begins to download and chug away. And I can begin to take a look at it. Now we're 12% downloaded at this point. Notice the pages start appearing. And I can start reading. So as I look inside, you see that it's beautifully laid out. Now I can pinch zoom, which is all I did with that uh, those pictures from National Ge Geographic a couple of minutes ago. You can, you can put your fingers on there and pinch zoom and and so forth. But one cool thing you can do is use this text button to strip out ads. And here's how you do that. It says, okay, I click text and which article do you want to look at? It says, so I said, click on the world economy there. And bam, just like that, the ad's gone. The text is spread out across the page and it looks very much like an ordinary e-reader, an e-book reader. So we get a lot of control over fonts and appearance and so forth with that. So. so at this point, you should see how valuable Zinio and OverDrive can be to you. And I'm going to show you how to set up your free account and download your free apps right here. I'm just going to give you a list of things to do. You might want to stop this, pause it, make some notes. So set up these free accounts. First, you're going to need a library card, an account at one or more public libraries. And notice I have two public libraries, as well as the uh, Gutenberg Library, which is you don't need an account to go to. You just go and get stuff there. So get as many library cards as you want, and you can associate them with your overdrive. Then you're going to need that Adobe Digital Account, which we saw earlier, uh, allows the library to track and identify me with Adobe Digital and the publisher's uh, can know that I've got this book out for my two-week period. So get your Adobe Digital account. That's a one-time process. Get your free Zinio.com account, which is an online thing you set up with your web browser, and you can buy and sample magazines right there. And set up your Zinio account through your library, which is using your library's digital download page. Click there on that particular library's digital download page and associate your library card with your Zinio account at your library. So those are the four things you need, a library card or cards, an Adobe digital account, an online Zinio account, and a Zinio account through your library. And finally, what you're going to need to do is install these apps, the Overdrive Media Console and the Zinio Digital Magazine app. You get those 
from the Google, this is Google's Play Store, which is for all Android devices. And it's a way they'll show up at the Play Store. And I'm sure there's similar screens at the uh, iTunes Store or where, wherever you're going to go to get your stuff. So remember, Overdrive Media Console lets you read books, Zinio lets you read magazines, and together you can load that tablet of yours up with lots of free books and magazines from your public libraries. Enjoy.